I'm Alexandra Krauers. I'm a visual artist and autistic researcher based in Antwerp, Belgium. In a parallel universe where a SARS-like virus was contained never to be heard of again, I'm giving a talk today, Wednesday, April 29, at the Residency in Limited Space on Court Street, Brooklyn, New York. We are now in the garden of the fucking bats. Much of my work has always revolved around eschatology, which is a fancy word for the end of the world, and ecological collapse. Often my digital animations take place in worlds where people or civilizations are reduced to remnants. There's a distinct science fiction-esque component in my work that comes with the territory. The beetle lays its eggs in spruce and pine trees, the larvae dig themselves out through the bark, leaving tunnels, the patterns look like an otherworldly alphabet, hence its name, Ibs typographus, in Dutch it's called de letterzetter. It means, the compositor, this soundtrack is the compositor composing.
Or what is solastalgia? Solastalgia is either the protagonist or the antagonist, or both. I'm not sure yet. Is it a hybrid of an animal and a plant? Is it a rock or a tree? Is it blue or gold? Is it tall or minuscule? The Kubler Ross model, or the five stages of grief, postulates a series of emotions experienced by terminally ill patients prior to death, or people who have lost a loved one, wherein the five stages are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Although commonly referenced in popular media, the existence of these stages has not been demonstrated and the model is not considered helpful in explaining the grieving process.
so sorry, 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 this friend of a friend or is it his cousin i'm not sure anyway he's this powerful type you know body build really impressive comes from this place that got destroyed or something because the people took all the resources you know well he's connecting these gemstones five of them or six five or six all with different superpowers one can bend time for instance pretty nifty rocks if you ask me He's searching high and low for these stones. Crazy! So when he's got them all collected, he's going to put them into some sort of glove. A metal gauntlet. And apparently, but you'd have to ask my friend about the details, I'm just relaying what I heard. These stones together make this guy really like the king of the universe. I kid you not. And then... When he snaps his fingers, wearing this gauntlet, a random half of all living things just poof! Disappear! Imagine that! He thinks he's doing this out of an act of kindness, you know, to yeah, restore balance. <sighs> you want another drink? <sighs> 